All right, so let's check this next section and see what we are going to learn. We will learn how to copy and paste text in Elementor, also how to create this nice divider and how to work with the image boxes. Also some padding and margin, etc. We have many things to do, so let's start moving. So let's go to our Elementor edit screen, scroll down, and here we will create a new section. Now you may be tempted to use this three column section because we have three images boxes, but let's go first with the full width section. Into the full width section, we will drag our heading element. And now we can see that we need to change the content, the text. We want to have this text instead. So we can copy the text and we have two ways or two options where to paste the text. We can paste it here instead of the text in the visual editor or we can also paste it in the text box under the content. And there is a different. So when we paste it here in this text box, it will only going to paste the text without applying any style. However, if we paste it here in the visual editor, it will paste the text with CSS styles. As you can see, it looks exactly the same like in our demo website automatically. However, I don't recommend you guys to do it because if you will take different text from different websites, it's just going to look like completely different design from one text to another, okay? So I recommend you to paste it in the content box and then just design it as you wish to match your website. All right, and we can see in our demo website that all of our titles are black. And on our website that we're building right now, our title is the default color, which is light blue. Let's change the default color to be black as well. Click on this icon and go to default colors. Here we will change the color palette of the first color to black or dark purple, and the second color to dark purple or pink, based on your needs, of course. Now click apply, and from now on, every time we will drag a title element, it will pick up the default color, which is black, just like so. Excellent, it will save us a lot of time. So after we did that one, let's start designing our title. Now, the first thing is obviously to center it. Under the style tab, we can change the size of it, like so, maybe 50 pixels. Now, if you decided that for this specific title, you want a different color than black, you can always change it under the text color and it will override the default color. So if you want to have it blue, it will become blue. All right, so you can change it all the time. Uh, maybe one more thing that I would like to show you with the text is how to change the family font. Just click on family and change the font to any font that you would like. I really like the ABZ by Google. It's pretty cursive and very gentle. I'm gonna keep it that way. And the next element that we will drag into our section is this divider. I'm going to locate it and position it just underneath the title. We can see that it's taking the full width, 100% full width of the section. I'm going to reduce it to take only 10%. And I will also center it to be underneath the title. We can add an element to this section, like star or text. I'm going to click on the icon and here you have many icons to choose from. I'm going to look for a dumbbell because it's a gym website. Insert and we can see our new dumbbell over there. When you're satisfied with the content, let's move to the style tab. Here we're going to increase the weight from one to two, just like so. And also the gap, right now it's 15 pixel top and bottom. I'm going to change it to two to reduce the gap between the widget and the title. Excellent. Now we can style it, all right? Maybe we can change the color of it. We can make it pink, like so. And here under the icon tab, we can change the color to pink as well, and also change the size maybe to 20 pixels, just like so. If you're happy, excellent, let's move forward. Now we can see we have three icon boxes and then another three icon boxes. How do we do that? Let's go to the widget and we'll drag this inner section. And this 
will allow us to create section inside a section. And if we need more columns, we can just duplicate one of the columns. And now we have three of them. We can create as many as we wish. Okay. Now let's look for the icon box widget. And we will drag it to one of the columns. For example, the left one. We're going to design it. And then we will duplicate it and drag it to the other columns. All right. Let's start by designing and choosing the right icon. Because the first bullet point going to be 24-7. Let's look for a watch or a clock. This one is a really nice one. We will copy the 24-7 gym text and paste it in the edit box, just like so. And now we can design it. We have few options for the icons. We can choose the stacked and it will be filled with a layer. We can make it square and not round. Or we can choose frame and then the fill layer will be transparent, but we will have a border. You go with either one of those, doesn't really matter. You can also have the option to link it to a page, etc. And then go to the style tab. Here we can design the icon and we can style the content. Let's start with the icon first. We can change it to dark purple and the secondary color to pink. Doesn't look really good. I'm going to move it back to white. Now, we can also change other stuff like padding, size, etc. When we're moving to design the content, we can change the background color or the color of the text to purple, and that will match our icon. And when we're ready, we can create another box or just click duplicate. It will create another column and let's just delete the empty columns. We'll duplicate it once again, and we will delete the empty columns. And then we will have three columns, three full columns, and all we have left to do is just to change the text or the content. For example, this is a personal trainer. We're going to change the icon to a trainer or a user, something that will fit the bullet point. I'm going to change the title and, of course, the text. After you will have text, just write it over there. Now we'll just duplicate this whole section, right? And then instead of three icons, we have six icons in a click of a button. And again, all you need to do is just change the content. Now, how about you created six icons and suddenly you decided to change the secondary color to pink or any other color. All right. Now, if you duplicate the section one more time, it will hold the style, but you will need to change the content. However, what we can do right now, click copy and only paste the style. You see, right click on the element and it will paste only the style. You can see the secondary color change, but the content stay the same. And that will save you a lot of time. Again, I want to keep the white color. I'm just going to copy the element I want and only paste the style and not just the normal regular paste. Okay, and that's another way to quickly design whatever you want. Again, full of great tips over here. Just make sure to try it yourself. After saving the changes, we can see that the section looking good. However, we have some changes to make, maybe space between the elements, and we can do it right now by dragging the spacer widget, not into the column, but in between these sections, okay? And paste it over here. And we can reduce it from 50 to 10 or any other number that you would like, just like so. Now we need to create some space above the title and we can do it with spacer as well. And that will create 50 pixels at the top. However, we have other options to use margin or padding. Okay, so let's click on the settings of the section, go to advanced tab, and here we have margin and padding. What is the difference between margin and padding? To explain it better, let's paint the section in a different color than white, and it will be easier to show you what is the difference between them. So when you change the margin to 50, it will create a space outside of the section. Okay, it will push the section down from outside of the section. 
However, when you give a padding of 50, for example, it will push the elements down from inside the section. Okay, so you will see right now when I change it to 50, the gray section stayed at the top and it pushed the elements down from inside the section. It's very noticeable when you're creating a section with a different color than white, like we're doing so. However, if you're using a white background section, it doesn't really matter. But that's the difference between them. So I just gave 50 pixel top and 50 pixel bottom. And now I will bring it back to white color. Like that. Click update. Revisit our website to make sure it's looking good. And look at that. The section looks amazing. Let's make sure it's looking good on mobile devices too. And it is. It's looking really good. The only thing we can do here in mobile just to eliminate and hide the spacer between the inside sections. So go to advanced and here hide on mobile. We can close the element or sidebar and see how it looks on mobile versions as well. Before we moving to the next section, I would like you guys to pause this video and go ahead create the second section of your website. 